Ah, Captain, you've arrived. This is Fleet Admiral Newman, head of the Republic Navy's 5th Assault Fleet, and Supreme Commander Rands, overall head of the Republic Armed Forces. Good day. We've both heard a great deal about you, Captain. Given our present circumstances, Fleet Admiral Newman and Supreme Commander Rands have come here to plan a full-scale joint operation to deal with the Gauntlet superweapon. I'm honored to meet you both. It's unfortunate that we couldn't meet under better circumstances. As you know, the situation is dire. A single operational gauntlet device gives the Empire a decisive military advantage. But Agent Gorn's report has revealed the enemy's true plan, mass production. If the gauntlet prototype is completed and the Empire succeeds in producing more of them, we're doomed. The entire Republic would be conquered in a matter of weeks. There must be something we can do to stop this thing, sir. Destroying the gauntlet will require a coordinated naval and infantry strike of unprecedented scale. Our forces must begin preparing now. In the midst of the assault we're planning, a single commando team will board the gauntlet and sabotage it from within. We've chosen Havoc Squad to carry out this task. Havoc Squad will be proud to end this threat to the Republic, sir. Your team will need to be expanded. You'll need a technical specialist, and an explosives expert. The General and I have scoured the entire Republic personnel database to locate the two most highly qualified specialists available. Both men are engaged in active operations. The first on Balmora. Extract him and return here as quickly as possible. Understood? If I have your leave, I'll get started immediately, General. Absolutely, Captain. The sooner Havoc Squad is at full strength, the sooner we can begin the assault on the gauntlet. Dismissed. Captain, I understand you've reached Balmora. Let's get straight to it, shall we? Imperial forces conquered the planet during the First War, but a Balmoran resistance movement has fought the occupation to this day. Republic support for the resistance has been inconsistent over the years. But now, our forces are pushing to drive the Empire off Balmora for good. If our people need backup, they can count on Havoc Squad. Your primary objective, of course, is the recruitment of Havoc Squad's new explosives expert. His name is Tano Vic. Vic is a weak way, and a natural at demolitions work. But he also has a history of insubordination and collateral damage. Keep him on a short leash. I'm sure I can keep him out of trouble, General. I hope so. To be clear, Vic's infractions were not minor, and they led to his dishonorable discharge over a year ago. He is, however, the most skilled demolitionist on record, and Havoc Squad needs the best. I'm sure he'll work out fine. Just be sure to keep an eye on him. Vic is currently fighting as a mercenary for the Balmoran Resistance. His supervisor is a Resistance leader named Arden. Meet with Arden. Learn where Vic is stationed and pull him out as quickly as possible. Contact me again when you've done so. Garza out. So let's focus on those war mechs landing on the plateau. Look, it's one of our dependable friends from the Republic. Meeting's over, people. I wouldn't dream of keeping a Republic officer waiting. I'm here to speak with Tano Vic. Do you know where I can find him? General Garza sent me a message explaining everything. I've got Vic's current assignment details right here. I'm glad to hear the Republic's finest aren't here to help, but to take away one of my best men instead. We're honored, really. Havoc Squad needs a demolitions expert. Of course. And what Havoc needs, Havoc gets. Vic is taking one of our teams on a patrol run. Their next stop is our signal interception post. You can catch up with him there. Now if that's all, there are real soldiers who need my time. I don't mean to put you in a bad place, sir. I'm really not interested in what you mean to do. Scanning Sector 2. Nothing. Just like the others, Pran. Excuse me. I'm looking for Tenno Vic. Ah! Oh! You're with the Republic! I thought I was dead meat. Looking for Vic, huh? That weak way scumbag is long gone. It's imperative that I locate him immediately. Vic was here earlier, but he slipped away when we weren't looking, along with our entire security team. All he left was this hollow recording. Gentlemen, Tano Vic, 53rd Irregulars. 
I'm afraid your fine security team is being co-opted for a very important top secret mission. This is all on Republic orders, of course. Part of the beat push. Take a look at Regulation 235R. You'll see that everything checks out. Have a good one. The Republic wouldn't tap a mercenary for a top secret operation. Yeah, didn't make much sense to us either. Vic is the least of our problems. With security gone, Imperial Commandos have breached the perimeter and started sabotaging our equipment. All of our comm relays are down. General Rackton himself could march an army through here and we would have no way to warn anyone. Is there any way to get the relays back online? Judging by the way the relays cut out, I'd guess the imps just yanked the power couplings. Easy fix, but the problem will be fighting through those commando teams. Do you think you can manage it? I'll have the relays back online in no time. Just like that, huh? Just another day on the job. We'll try to hold down the fort while you're gone. Good luck. You did it! Comms are back up and we've already picked up a lot of Imperial chatter. You really made an impression. I couldn't stand by while allies were in danger. We won't forget it. You can bet on that. Once the equipment came back up, Dalba had the bright idea of tapping Vic's communications, like we do the imps. Listen to this. A dangerous mission. No doubt about it. To be honest, a lot of you probably won't make it back. Of course, if you ask the guys up top, they'll never even admit to ordering this mission. That's how it is in this business. But we're not here for glory or credits. We're here to save Balmora. Am I right? Why would Vic suddenly take off on a mission like this? Beats me. But he must have something to gain. Step one is Sobrik. Once we have what we need there, it will be a straight shot to our final objective. Sobrik's an Imperial-occupied city, one of their main bases of operations on Balmora. Sounds like you could catch up to Vic there. I better move out right away. Hopefully you can catch that scumbag before he slips away again. I know a guy, a major in the Republic Special Forces, Triam. He's been helping us out around Sobrik. I'll bet he could narrow down the search for you. Thanks again for all your help. And good luck catching up to that scumbag. Captain, I'm Major Triam, 35th Recon. You can stand at ease. I appreciate your time, Major. I'm hoping you can help me find a weak way named Tenno Vic. I'll bet I can. That lying filth volunteered to destroy some Imperial jammers in Sobrik. They're blocking the scan data from all of our high-altitude probe droids. Vic took the explosives, but never did the job. The Resistance needs the data from those probes to avoid patrols and conduct raids. Just give me the target coordinates and I'll move out. It's not that simple, unfortunately. You'll need detonite charges to bring the jammers down. Vic took the last of mine, so you'll have to do a bit of scrounging. The imps have checkpoints scattered through Sobrik. They'll have explosives. Once you have enough charges, Hit those jammers hard. Consider the jammers scrap, sir. Once the jammers are down, and we start getting full aerial scans of Sobrik, we can pinpoint exactly where Vic took my explosives. Contact me via Holo as soon as the jammers are down. Dismiss, Captain. The jammers have been destroyed, Major. I repeat, the jammers are down. That's good to hear, Captain. I was starting to sweat. All right, the aerial scans are coming in now. Let's see if we can find that weak way. I'm seeing signs of an explosive entry at the Imperial HQ, near the administrative offices. We don't have any people in the area, so it's got to be Vic's handiwork. I'll proceed to the area immediately. I'm sending you the coordinates now. When you run into Vic, pass on my thanks for all his help. Triumph out. the man I left behind to cover us. But you are answering his hollow. Just who does that make you, exactly? I'm interested in meeting up so I can help with your top secret mission. Come on. I can see the Havoc badge even over the hollow. You're here about that message I got. I really want to hear what the Republic has to offer me. Because last I checked, I wasn't winning any popularity contests with command. But that'll have to wait until my work here is done. I couldn't stand to leave without doing my part for the Balmorans. We can do this faster together. What's the objective? Hmm. Yeah. 
Yeah, that could work. Count yourself in, Captain. My team and I just grabbed an enemy VIP named Brel Oris. He's a Balmoran fat cat who sold out to the imps. Baby mongrel slime! You'll pay for this! You'll pay for this! Brel has volunteered the location of a hazard vault where my objective is hidden. I'm borrowing a Republic missile battery to blast it open. What's hidden inside the hazard vault, Vic? Let me worry about that part. I need you to clear a path. There are all sorts of defenses that could stop my missile before it hits. The imps have anti-missile turrets, shields, defensive sensors. Why don't you start with the sensors? Take them down, then contact me again. Copy? I'll be in touch, Vic. Can't wait. The sensor stations are down, Vic. Nice job. I guess they say Havoc is the best for a reason. I have to ask, Captain. Why me? I mean, sure, I'm pretty incredible. But last I heard, the guys up top weren't too interested in having me around. Havoc Squad has to have the top explosives expert in the Republic. And that's me, huh? I'm flattered. <laughs> From a dishonorable discharge to Havoc Squad in less than a year. It's a crazy galaxy. Let's get back to helping these poor, pitiful Balmorans. Now that the sensors are gone, I need you to hit the Imp's anti-missile turrets. Think you can handle that? I can handle a few turrets. Good deal. Keep in touch. Vic out. I've destroyed the anti-missile turrets. Much appreciated. We're going to be ready to launch in no time. So, what's it like being top squad in the Republic? You have command breathing down your neck, or do they give you room to operate? General Garza oversees all of Havoc Squad's operations personally. Never met Garza, but I know her reputation. I'm surprised she's willing to have me in the same sector. Only one more thing between my missile and its target. An aerial shield generator. Take it down, and we'll be go for launch, Captain. Taking the shield down shouldn't be a problem. You're a pro. No doubt about it. See you soon. Vic out. Captain, with all due respect, I don't think it wise to play Vic's game. He should be doing what you ask, not the other way around. He may be playing us, but the Imperials are the ones paying for it. Yes, at least the objectives themselves are worthwhile, even if the reasoning behind them isn't. I'll follow your lead whenever you're ready. It's done. The shield generator is disabled. Just what I wanted to hear. I'm dying to launch this baby. Target coordinates locked in. Fire! <laughs> the imps are really going to feel this one. I'm glad I could help. Wish I could have pulled you in from the start. You've made this up a breeze. I can't wait to shake your hand, Captain. See you soon. Help. Got to help. They took him. The imps took Vic. Can you do anything for him, Dorn? I'm on it, sir. Oh, thank you. It was... It was that traitor, Brel Oris. He gave the imps our position somehow. We fought hard, but they overran us. They tore straight through and grabbed Vic. They'll take him to the Balmoran Arms Factory. The imps built a prison in the back of the complex. No one ever comes out. I'm going to get Vic back. Period. You're a real hero. You and Vic both. You're heroes. Your condition is stabilized, soldier. But get to a safe location immediately. Thanks. I can make my own way back. You two need to save Vic. Good luck, friend. I'm gonna get back to base before these stims wear off. Again! Hit him again! Make that thieving liar pay! Well, it's been fun, guys. 
But looks like my ride is here. Nice knowing you. Drop your weapon! Surrender now! Just give me the prisoner and no one will have to get hurt. Your words, not mine. Shut up! We do not negotiate with Riffraff! The Empire fears no one. Isn't that right? Yes, sir. You have a chance to end this peacefully. This is not a negotiation! Shoot her! Shoot her! Well, that was exciting. It's good to finally meet you in person, Captain. Welcome to Havoc Squad, Vic. Now there's something I never expected to hear. So, what does Havoc Squad do with worthless enemy bureaucrats? Uh, <laughs> let's not be hasty now. I am a man of honor, despite what you may have heard. Yeah, nice guy. You stole from your people and betrayed them to the Empire by accident. I've made mistakes, certainly, but allow me to make amends. A contribution of credit, say, to repay the Republic's heroism on behalf of my fellow Balmorans. I don't want your credits, Oris. Get out of here. Oh, yes, yes, of course. Whatever you wish. Should have just killed the fat scumbag. Now. Seeing as we're all on the same team, I'll fill you in on my little operation. That vault we blew open is full of pricey prototype weapons designed by Balmoran companies. Oris had them hidden before the Imperial invasion to keep them safe. Oris never told the Imperials about these weapons. Of course not. He wanted to make money on them. Oris planned to sell the prototypes for a tidy profit. We could do the same after picking a few choice items for ourselves. Those prototypes should be put to use, not sold for profit. Quite right, Captain. These weapons must be turned over to the proper authorities in accordance with Regulation 87C. I bet you change your mind once those blasters are in front of us. Let's just get to the vault. If we don't move fast, the imps might find the prototypes. Here they are, Sergeant. Go ahead and bring your men through. It's clear. Captain, this is Sergeant Tong. I took the liberty of calling his transport team in to get these captured enemy weapons crated and moved. I appreciate you coming all this way to help us. No problem, sir. Hostile pickup is our specialty. Where can we take this stuff for you, sir? Yes, yeah, sir. Where are they taking all these highly advanced, highly useful, highly valuable prototype weapons? Deliver them to Research Division immediately, Sergeant. Yes, sir. Let's get to work, men! What a waste. I can't believe I went to all that trouble for nothing. Just think, those weapons could give the Republic the edge it needs. Not for a long time. We could have used those weapons now, not to mention the credits. I finally tracked down Vic. He's coming with me. Yeah, I heard. He was in the middle of the deepest raid into Imperial territory I've seen. Sobrick, the Balmoran Arms Factory. I heard he hit them all. Vic was out for credits, pure and simple. I don't believe that for a second. Now Vic will be strolling around Coruscant with your lot, making publicity hollows while the rest of us fight. What a waste. Make sure your man sees plenty of action, Arden. Let's hope so. I'd like to say it's been a pleasure having you here, Captain, but we both know that's a lie. Come back when Havoc Squad is done showboating all over the galaxy. We'll put you to work for a real cause. Good luck in the battle for Balmora, Arden. Captain, were you successful in locating and extracting Tano Vic to serve in Havoc Squad? Consider me located and extracted, General. Good. From now on, you will speak only when spoken to. Has Vic given you any trouble, Captain? A bit, but I cleared things up. 
I'm glad to hear it. Tanovic, your service with Republic Army is hereby resumed. You are posted to Special Forces Unit 326, codenamed Havoc Squad, at the rank of Specialist. It's a real honor to be here, General. I look forward to getting out there and fighting for the Republic again. Permission to speak, Captain. What do you have to say, Lieutenant? Vic's a liar, he's reckless, and he has no regard for the lives of his fellow soldiers. With all due respect, I don't think someone like Vic has a place anywhere in the Republic Army, let alone Havoc Squad. This squad has to have the best explosives expert available. That's Vic. Just don't say I didn't warn you, sir. I understand your concerns, but we have a job to do. Let's focus on it. An urgent situation has developed, involving a critical part of our plan to assault the Gauntlet. Havoc Squad is needed, immediately. A platoon specializing in bunker assaults, codenamed Safecrackers, is trapped behind enemy lines on Quesh. They must be rescued immediately. We cannot destroy the Gauntlet without them. I'll proceed to Quesh immediately, General. When you reach Quesh, report to Major Donovan. He's overseeing the rescue operation. I'll follow Major Donovan's orders to the letter, General. This mission is vital, Captain. If we fail, our entire operation against the Gauntlet is ruined. Stay focused and bring those men home. Garza out. We've dug in, Major, but the imps are coming on strong. And I never much care for playing defense. Just hang in there, son. Havoc Squad just walked in. I'll get them briefed and in the field on the double. Copy that. I'm sure we'll find a way to keep busy. Call you out. What's the situation, Major? The situation is a mess, that's what it is. Everything went south while the safecrackers were on a bunker raid. Intel was bad, alarms got tripped, and the imps moved out in force. Now Corey's people are surrounded, outnumbered, and outgunned. We don't punch them a hole to run through every man in that outfit as a goner. I don't care how many imps there are, we're getting our people out of there. Agreed, Captain. Leaving our comrades to the Empire is never an option. Diversion is the key. Scouts found an Imperial Command Center deep behind their lines. That's where you'll strike. Equipment, vehicles, personnel, anything with an Imperial logo gets holes in it. The imps will rush back to stop you, and the safecrackers will get the gap they need. Just give me the coordinates and I'll make some noise, Major. Let's give those scumbags a run for their money. As soon as the imps clear out, Corio will contact you so that you can all burn jets back here. Speeders are waiting for you. Now get out there and give the imps something to think about! Havoc, this is Coria, with the safecrackers. We've got the gap we needed, so we're pulling out. I don't know what you're doing, but the imps sure don't like it. You'll have a lot of company soon. Suggest you pull out immediately. Over. We'll head back to base right away. Copy that. See you at home. Coria out. Captain! Great work out there. Great work! You made that op plan look easy. In and out, hit and run, the imps never had a clue. Top-notch soldiering. I'm just glad we got the safecrackers out of there. You and me both. Quest definitely won't be making my list of the galaxy's most relaxing destinations. You got me and my people out of a tight spot and we won't forget it. Whatever and whenever you need, the safecrackers are there. I'll be glad to have your help, Lieutenant. General Garza already has plans for you. Yeah, that's what I hear. It'll be a pleasure to work with you again. All right, all right, we're not on vacation here, people. Coria, get your men settled and ready for transport. Captain, it's been a pleasure. Contact General Garza with the rundown before you take off. Dismissed. General Garza, this is Havoc. The safecrackers have been extracted safely. Excellent. Very good work, Captain. I'll make sure that the safecrackers stay out of harm's way until our operation against the Gauntlet begins. Your next step is Hoth. The last specialist that Havoc needs is stationed there. Contact me when you arrive and I'll brief you on the specifics. I'll head for Hoth right away, General. Garza out. Come in, Captain. This is General Garza. I understand you've just docked over Hoth. Hoth is locked in a three-way resource battle between the Republic, the Sith Empire, and a powerful alliance of pirate warlords. It's pure chaos. I'll be sure to stay on my toes, General. You're recruiting a technical specialist named Sergeant Yun. Judging by his service record, he's the finest technician in the entire Republic military. Yun is a Gand, an uncommon species in the Republic. 
and he follows an indigenous shamanistic training. No one understands it, but his results are unmatched. If he can get the job done, then I'll be glad to have him. Whether through mystical powers or luck, Yun's gained a reputation from his squadmates for doing the impossible. Currently, he's scavenging crashed Imperial warships to piece together a functional Umbra encryptor, the machine responsible for the Empire's most secure military codes. It's critical that Yun completes the Umbra encryptor. We've never come close to breaking the code, and the amount of intelligence we could gain is immense. With Havoc's help, the job will be done in no time. Yoon has already been informed of his transfer into Havoc Squad. I'm told he's excited to meet you. Contact me again when the mission is concluded, and Yoon has completed the Umbra Encryptor. Garza out. <laughs> That's amazing. I never would have imagined. Officer on deck! Why don't you give me the details of your operation, Sergeant? Having the Imperial's own records should speed up our search. Havoc's used to going in first. Just point us in the right direction. I'll hold this position until you get the door open. I'll hit the barracks and stop the imps immediately. Fully understood. There are two wires in the maintenance panel, Yoon. One red, one blue. Which should I cut? Cutting the blue wire now. Thanks for the assist, Sergeant.
You've definitely proven yourself, Sergeant. That was incredible. I can't believe we pulled it off. You and your team should be very proud of your performance, Sergeant. Outpost 427, this is Major Artano, Information Control Specialist for General Rackton's Command Group. Republic personnel are searching Imperial shipwrecks on Hoff. This cannot continue. Full security details will be posted at all crash sites immediately. I'm en route to Hoff now. Any questions about General Rackton's orders may be addressed to me upon arrival. Glory to the Empire. Who's this General Rackton? General Rackton is the Empire's top field commander and campaign planner. Supposedly, he's never been beaten. What do we do now, sir? The, the Empire knows we're coming. That attitude's getting you nowhere fast. Apologies, sir. It won't happen again. Just pick a crash site and we'll move out. Let's make it happen, Sergeant. Your attempt to steal Imperial property has been detected, and reinforcements called from all nearby positions. Drop your weapons and enter Imperial custody, or face termination. I'm sure we can negotiate reasonably. I do not negotiate. You had your chance. Now be crushed by the might of the Empire. I'm collapsing the cave and making my way out. I'll meet up with Corporal Sajin right away. I'll keep my eyes open, Sergeant. Captain, sir, they're everywhere. Sir, they're all over us. You have to warn Sergeant Yoon. The enemy is neutralized, Corporal. Neutralized enemy. Oh, good, good. I'll try to ease his pain, sir, but I'm afraid there's nothing else I can do for him. It was pirates. Grimy, murdering pirates. They... they knew what we were after. Their leader grabbed the... Grab the Umbra part and ran. Do you know where the pirates are based? Who their leader is? All I heard them say was that they needed the Umbra parts. Please, sir. You have to warn Sergeant Yoon. The pirates will be gunning for him next. Yoon needs to know what's heading his way. Sergeant Yoon, come in. Sajin's team was ambushed by pirates. The Umbra component was stolen. More pirates are headed for your position. Over. Two men were dead on arrival, and Sajin won't survive his wounds. 
Thank you, sir. I had to be sure. Had to warn him. Yun wanted you to know that you served with honor, Sajin. Thank you. Thank you. We're soldiers. We look out for each other. I found something, sir. It's a recording one of the pirates was carrying. Let's see here. Got a chance at serious credits on this one. If you fail me in this, I'll hang your hides on my walls. Leave no witnesses. Grab the Umbra parts at these coordinates, and don't come back to the Star of Coruscant without them. Got it? How did pirates learn about the Umbra? I'll get the last component, no matter what the opposition. My, 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 I can't for the life of me figure out what you might be after. I'm Zareen. I take care of... Targeted acquisitions, let's say. Like that little trinket you came here for. I get the impression that you want it pretty bad. Surely we can come to a peaceful agreement. Peaceful agreements are boring. Unless, of course, they're profitable. That piece of junk is worth a lot to you, isn't it? So make me an offer. If it's high enough, maybe you'll walk out of here. You want money, you can have it. Huh, respectable. But I bet you can do better. Last chance, army girl. How much is that hunk of scrap really worth? This is all I'm willing to part with, Serene. It's a deal, army girl. Just hand over the credits. Halt! I am Major Artano of the Imperial Military. Drop your weapons and surrender immediately. Nobody be too hasty here. I'm sure we can work this out. There is nothing to work out. You, the Menjiwan. You are in possession of stolen Imperial property. Hand it over now, and I will consider sparing your life. My new friend just made me a nice offer for that item. Unless you can top it, I'll have to pass. Treacherous subhuman scum! Open fire, man! Get that component! It's been a while since I had a good scrap like that. I'm glad you stopped by. Your piece of junk is right over there. Hopefully it didn't get shot up too much. Now hand over my credits. Just as we agreed, Serene. Ah, credits? Killing. I don't think this day could get any better. Watch out for yourself, army girl. Maybe we'll bump into each other again sometime. Sergeant, our mission is complete. Havoc Squad could never have done this without you and your team, Sergeant. This could change the entire face of the war, Sergeant. You should be proud.
I only helped, Sergeant. You should be the one to turn this in. Hmm. Unit 11 is lagging behind. Maybe Unit 38 could reinforce them. Colonel, sir. Sergeant Yoon has completed his reconstruction of the Umbra Encryptor, sir. Hmm? Ah, oh, that's fantastic! Stand at ease, Captain. Let's have a look. It's smaller than I expected. Tough to believe it's so vital. I understand you worked with Sergeant Yoon quite a bit to help make this happen. What did you think of him? You can speak freely. Sergeant Yoon will be a great credit to Havoc Squad. I couldn't agree more, Captain. I couldn't agree more. I'd trade any ten soldiers in my command to keep Yoon around, but I understand he's needed for something much bigger. I don't need to know what insane thing High Command has you up to, but you'll be glad you have Yoon with you. I guarantee it. Yoon is going to be very helpful in future missions. That he will. Best of luck in your operation, Captain. You're dismissed. Captain, I've just been contacted by Colonel Fieros. I understand the operation was a complete success. Breaking the Umber Code will have far-reaching effects. The Republic has gained an advantage today that could change the course of the entire conflict. Well done. Sergeant Yoon did the real work, sir. I'm glad to hear that your new recruit lived up to his reputation. Sergeant Yoon, please step forward. Sergeant Yoon. It is my pleasure to officially confirm your transfer to Republic Army Special Forces Squad Number 326, codename Havoc Squad. We're glad to have you on the team, Sergeant. With Sergeant Yoon, Havoc Squad is ready to begin the operation against the Gauntlet Superweapon. Return to Coruscant immediately, Captain. We have a lot to discuss. Garza out. Captain, come in. You may stand at ease. I understand you've succeeded in bringing Havoc Squad up to full strength, Captain. Congratulations. My squad and I are very proud to be a part of this operation, sir. I think I speak for everyone when I say we're glad to have Havoc involved. General Garza, why don't you begin? Certainly. As you know, Captain, the Gauntlet superweapon allows the Empire to target and destroy any ship traveling through hyperspace. This capability, if put to use, would give the Empire an insurmountable advantage. It also makes an attack on the Gauntlet itself extremely difficult. Fortunately, the technical data you helped retrieve allowed us to determine a safe approach pattern that will get our forces within striking range. It's good to know the attack won't end before it begins. The plan is not without its dangers. Commander Rands can explain. We've run the numbers from the Imperial's readouts and determined the Gauntlet's minimum time to acquire and lock onto a target. Your ship and those of my battle group will approach the Gauntlet by making numerous short hyper jumps, always remaining below the minimum lock on time. Short, repeated hyper jumps are very inefficient. Once we're in, our warships won't have enough fuel to return. Total victory will be our only option. Failure has never been an option, sir. Quite right. When the attack begins, Lieutenant Coria's safecrackers will immediately disable the planetary shield generator that protects the gauntlet, allowing Havoc Squad to board it. Once you're aboard, begin the demolition operation. Sergeant Yuen will help you bypass the security seals on the weapon's inner core. Specialist Vic will then go into the core with you and plant explosives at key weak points, ensuring the gauntlet's total destruction. How should I deploy my other squad members? During your demolition operations, two Havoc squad members of your choice will assault the Gauntlet's bridge and download all data from the weapon's computers. Unassigned squad members will provide mobile backup to the rest of the team as needed. As soon as your objectives are complete, evacuate the Gauntlet immediately. Understood? I'll assign the bridge assault team before the attack begins. We cannot overemphasize the importance of this mission, Captain. The future security of the Galactic Republic hinges on the destruction of this single weapon. You and your team are no strangers to situations like this. You've faced incredible odds before, and overcome them with skill and determination. 
If anyone can lead the charge in this battle and see us through to victory, it's Havoc Squad. Your Republic is counting on you. Move out. For the Republic. Yeah! yeah! This is Admiral Newman. Our attack group has exited hyperspace and engaged the Imperial's escort ships. Defensive forces are as expected. Lieutenant Corrier reports that the Safecrackers have breached the planetary shield generator. You're clear to make your run on the gauntlet. Good hunting. Give the Imperials a run for their money, sir. We'll be in contact if anything develops. Newman out. I got the team prepped and ready for your assignments, Captain. We're all eager to do some damage. Like Garza said, we'll need two for the assault on the bridge. Getting in there will be a fight. Vic and you are spoken for, so that leaves me, Dorn, and Forex to hit the bridge. Who do you want on the job? Take Sergeant Dorn and get that bridge cleared out. We'll get the job done. It's an honor. Thank you, sir. We'll make the final adjustments before we land. Any other words for the team? Havoc is the best squad in the Republic because it has the best soldiers in the Republic. That is why we'll succeed. We may be charging headfirst into the most advanced weapon of war the Sith Empire has ever built, but we will succeed. The odds may be impossible. The enemy may outnumber us ten to one, but Havoc Squad will succeed. Sir, yes sir! Move out and find the rest. Couldn't have done it without you, Yoon. Time to contact Vic. Vic, come in. The seals are disabled. Rendezvous with the core access door ASAP. Over. That ugly bug got you through after all, huh? Heading for the door. Vic out. There you are. We're ready to finish this, or should I pop out for a drink? Too bad the imps didn't put a bar on this thing. Could use a break. Sergeant Yoon, go meet up with 4X and await further instructions. That's the spot. One down, Captain. Let's hit the rest so we can get back to Coruscant 
and the many thankful citizens of the Republic. Medals, parades, parties, this could be great. These crazy missions do have their advantages. I'll follow your lead 